Welcome to Beach Source Tech. My name is Mo Jax, and today I'm back talking to you about the Denon DJ Prime 4 Plus a bit sooner than I had anticipated. In my first video about it last week, I said there was an exclusive new feature coming to it, and the internet being the way it is, that has leaked. So they brought the announcement forward. It wasn't intended to be today, but it's happening today. Yes, it's getting stems. Real-time stem separation in hardware. No software required, no separate computer, no pre-analysis. Real-time stem separation in hardware. Now it's going to go into public beta probably in about three months. Again, exclusively for the Prime 4 Plus. There is a possibility that it may come to other hardware later, but we'll talk about that a bit later on in the video. Right now, let's show you how it works. Now, keep in mind here, I am using BeatSource streaming tracks. I'm not using local music. The first thing I did was load up a track from BeatSource and I was amazed to see it worked on there. The other thing to bear in mind, this is a really an alpha version. This is super early. It's no way ready for prime time. I was hoping by the time we did our first demo, there would be a slightly better, slightly more developed, you know, firmware to show it to you with. But right now we've got this one, which is super alpha. It's, you know, one deck only. It doesn't even have it on the second deck and everything else. So bear that in mind. And of course, being so early, bear in mind the quality may well and almost certainly will improve over time as it goes into public beta, then into a full release with the Prime 4 Plus. But right now I can show it to you and show you how it works. So we can see as I've loaded the track, we have these two icons up here. We have a microphone and a keyboard. That is to indicate that this is just two stems we have here. We have vocal and instrumental. Is there a possibility for more stems in future? Maybe. Typically I only use those two in my mixing anyway, but that's what we have here. So we have this progress bar going across in pink. The thing is with that, you don't have to wait for the track to finish. You can start using cue points, mixing, scratching, pitching up and down, whatever you want, right from the beginning. And also you can use stems right up to where that is. So let's hit the microphone, let's solo it out. And I can't now do stems right at the end of the track, but I can do it at the beginning, I can do it right up to there. So that's very cool. It doesn't cache them as well, so each time you load the track, it's going to analyze for stems again. That may or may not change in future, I don't know, but as of right now, yeah, every time you load the track, it will do the stem analysis. And this is an idea of what it's sounding like. Not the best, right? Let's be clear, it's not the best right now. This is kind of on a level maybe with the original splitter based stuff that we saw from Algorithm DJ. They still have that now. And Virtual DJ's first generation of stem separation. It's that kind of level. It's certainly no better. Um, and as I say, it's, it's so early, you know, we can't judge it. But the fact this is doing this in real time, it's witchcraft. It's actually witchcraft. I don't understand how they've done it. I was just telling all my friends for the longest time, there's no way we're going to get real-time stems in the current generation of standalone kit. No chance. No shot. And yet here we are. So let's do that instrumental. So you can hear there's, there's artifacting there, there's bleed. But as with all stems, you know, once you start to layer things up, things get better because it kind of hides the imperfections. Then you have the advantages of stem, so I can just add effects to the vocal over there, add the sweep effects to. Add a bit of reverb, I can EQ stuff as well, trying to take out the bits I don't want to hear. loop it separately and of course I can't do it across two decks right now I can only do it on the one because this side is it has no stems on it but yeah astonishing astonishing stuff I'm genuinely blown away by this let's load up something else uh, just to give you an idea of what kind of quality we can get so again this is a beat source track from a beat source playlist it's loading up right there and I will point out as well these DJ City Records tracks that I'm able to use in these videos unfortunately are not the best when it comes to stems. None, they really are a challenge for all of the algorithms, all of the options available. Serato Virtual DJ, nothing really likes these tracks very much. 
but that's the nature of the beast with stems unfortunately some tracks will always give you a better separation than others let's talk about other hardware because the engine team have said to me they're not discounting any possibilities at this stage there is a chance it will come to other hardware now my understanding is that the underlying architecture of the chips in all of the engine stuff is the same from the SC5000 onwards, but different units have different maybe power demands, different you know clocking, maybe different memory allocation, different amounts of memory, etc. So they're not exactly the same across the board. An SC5000 player is not running the exact same processing amount of processing power as a Prime 4 Plus, but they're not closing the door to this coming to other hardware later on. It definitely will be Prime 4 Plus exclusive, at least I would suggest until like the end of 2023. I don't think it's likely we'll see any other hardware for, for quite some time to come, but it is possible. And for me, I wanna say, I don't think, you know, seeing this on maybe a Mixtream Pro Go, for example, I don't think that's, I don't think that's likely. I would suspect not, but I would like to see the engine team prioritize the SC6000 and 6000M players if possible because not everyone wants an all-in-one standalone device like the Prime 4 Plus. As cool as they are, they're great, but you know, I use lots of different mixers, rotaries, etc. I like separate players, and so I'd love to see it come to the 6000Ms in my case, so I could use it on there. And I'm hoping as they are, you know, the flagship media player, which lots of people have invested in, I'm hoping that might be something that stems could come to later. But you know, right now, definitely Prime 4 Plus exclusive. Let's go through this one. Again, you can hear some artifacting, you can hear some bleed, but this is just analyze this on this device. Didn't need a computer, didn't need to pre-analyze, it's just done it. And I'm astonished, I'm blown away by this. Again, once you start layering it with other stuff, there's, there's all kinds of possibilities. And this is such an early build. I'm sure the separation will improve over time as well. But just the idea of this happening at all. Now this, this is absolutely, absolutely something else. So yeah, look out for this. We will come back to it, of course, in you know the three months when it goes public beta, we'll be taking a look at the builds that they have available for you to test then. And then we'll keep following this and tracking it as it goes along because this is incredibly exciting. This is something we've not seen in the industry at all. And I know that stems are a big part of my workflow as a DJ. And when I asked about what you'd love you know, to see on standalone kit in the last video, the biggest response was stems. You know, DJs have taken to stems in a big way. So to have this on here on the Prime 4 Plus, yeah, it really, really is something quite special. Let us know in the comments how you feel about this. Are you as hyped as I am for the possibility of real-time stems on hardware like this? And do you agree with me? What should be the priority for Denon DJ or the Engine DJ team to look at for the next piece of hardware to get this stems technology in there? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching this episode of Beat Source Tech. I do hope you've enjoyed it or found it useful. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you next time.